Right. And I have my paper, and I have my writing utensil, and I have red and blue. Okay, so that's what you will need today. All right, good job. I see Taylor Wolfson. Nice and ready. All right, what we're gonna do? Uh, just red and uh, just red and blue. Are the colors that you need? All right. With that said, I'm gonna turn my camera to the table so we can get started real quick. Um, this might take a while. You might not finish it today. But that's okay. Uh, what is your question? Yes. Yeah, what is your question? Sorry. Say that one more time. Can we use crayons? Yes, that's allowed. All right. Um, it's a little blurry. Mr. If no. I just put my hands down, I think it'll get less blurry. So if I go like this, there you go. Uh, it's a little blurry. Yes, what's up, Ivy? Um, Julia, my, Mia's little sister, she stole the blue, so can I use this one? That should work. All right, with that said, you want your paper to be uh, landscape mode, or also known as horizontal. So you want to make sure it's left to right like this. And what I want to do is my type of American flag, uh, kind of like um, like a waving flag in the air. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make that kind of texture on paper or how to make that effect of waving on paper, OK? Uh, so for second grade, it'll be quite confusing at first, but it'll make a lot more sense later on. I think I can show you guys a quick preview of it if I have it somewhere. It's going to look kind of like this. So I did this last class. And um, what I did was I started coloring it, and I labeled some numbers. These numbers will be very important to us later. So I'll show you guys that later, OK? All right, so let's get started right away. The first thing you're gonna need to do is to draw a flagpole on the very left side. So I'm just gonna draw two lines to resemble a flagpole. So here's my first line, here's my second line, and they're parallel to each other. You guys didn't know what the word parallel means. Parallel means that they don't intersect and they go the same direction. And if you wanna add your own type of top to the top of the flagpole, you can. I'm just going to do a cylinder and a ball on top. And if I had a yellow crayon or marker or color pencil, maybe I'd color that gold or yellow. Yeah, I got one. All right. And since I have it on me, I might as well do it. I mean, you don't have to color right now if you don't want to either. All right, there we go. Mr. Miller. Right. Yes, what is your question? I don't have a black crayon. That's okay. A pencil will work just fine. I'm only doing black uh, Sharpie because it's easier to see on the camera. Uh, hopefully it's not blurry anymore. It's, it gets blurry when I take my hands away. All right, here we go. So the first thing I would do if I were you is to try to attach to, to, attach to the flagpole with some string. So I'm just going to add a piece of string right here. And then another piece of string, uh, probably a little bit lower, probably right around here. Okay, so those are the two pieces of string I put on the flagpole or rope. I guess it can be rope. And then let's draw the back of that flag by creating a line that's curved from here to there. Okay, so if you don't know what that curve line is, I'll show you guys what I did from last class. So that's what that curve line is. It's the back of the flag. Okay, all right, and I'm going to show you guys how to do, do that curve. Okay, so what you're gonna do? We're gonna create kind of like a weird flag, kind of looks like a half flag. So in the middle of your paper, I want you guys to draw a vertical line about the same length of that curve line that we just did. About the same length. Okay. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, I'll show you guys again. The other class didn't have this kind of help because. I'm doing it twice with you guys. So that's what that line was. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next, you're going to curve up from here to there. Okay. From here to there. Okay. Next up, you're going to curve on the bottom, same direction from here to there, just like so. All right, we're gonna count six lines 
from the middle, and then we're gonna work our way down. Okay, so this is what I would do if I were you. I'd probably start over here, so I'd count like maybe like one, right there, right, right in the middle, and then two, three, four, five, and six. So I did that from the middle and I worked my way down. If you did it correctly, you should have the correct amount to do stripes going from the bottom. The bottom one is red. The next one is red. And the next one is red. You don't have to color right now if you don't want to. The only reason why I'm coloring is so you guys can see why we did six lines. Okay, Mr. that's the reason why we did six lines. All right, I do have my phone here. I do have opening right there. Okay, so you can see the actual flag. All right, did someone have a question? I see someone trying to talk there. Um, Adriana, um, what's your question? Um, is that okay if we do more than six lines? Um, it's it might look kind of weird because if I here, I'll tell you what. I'll hold my camera up. So this is the American flag. You can see kind of why we did six lines. So the six, so the first line was the bottom of that blue line right there, and then the other five lines are the start of or in between of the red stripes right there. Oh, I see. So, so that's why we did that many stripes in, in particular. Okay. All right. So with that said, I'm I'm gonna keep going. Oh, by the way, if you want to do fifty stars, you can. I did give the other class an option if they would like um to make it more homestead friendly so they did a husky paw and four stars okay it looks like i'm running almost out of time here <laughs> so i'm gonna go a little bit quicker i apologize in advance so just stop what you're doing and just go to my next step right here because you might fall too far behind okay so this is what i would do go on this side and draw another vertical line so this is gonna be our last vertical line right here and make it a little bit longer than this one right here. So notice how it's a little bit longer. So I dip a little lower. And then you're gonna curve the opposite way. I'm gonna curve this direction right here. Okay. For the top one. For the bottom one, it's a little more tricky. For the bottom one, you're gonna curve even further. You're gonna curve from here. And I curved past my first uh, middle line. I curved past it, if that makes sense to you. All right, this part's a little tricky. I'm gonna show you guys first what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when we're done, because we get to see the back of the flag because we are, I'm going behind, because you're looking at the flag uh, from underneath. So you're kind of looking up at the flag. So what you're gonna do, to connect this line to here, you're gonna kind of curve like this. So I'll zoom in, kind of curved it like that. Okay. And then this part's a little bit tricky to understand, but in order to see the back of the flag, you need a vertical line from here. And you're going to go straight up until you can't anymore. So I have to stop right there. And that, my friends, is the back of the flag. So this back of the flag is not seen, obviously. We'll leave it blank for now, though. And if you guys are wondering how many stripes you need on this side, you need a total of 12 in order to get the correct number of stripes on your flag. So I did look it up on the phone. I did try a couple flags on online, and it's the correct amount. So if I did 12, this is how I would count to make it a little more even. I'd go in the middle first, so I'd maybe go like this, so one, so then in the middle, then two, then go underneath, three, four, so I'm kind of flip-flopping back and forth, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if you're like me and you run out of room, you can either add to the top another stripe or you can add to the bottom of another stripe. 
So since I'm running out of room on the top, in order to add my 12th stripe on the bottom, I'd go like this. And it would still kind of work. And there we go. It looks confusing still right now, but if I just use a red marker and try to color those in, it'll look a lot less confusing. So let me go from the top. So here's my first stripe. Here's my other stripe. I'm going to keep going down, and we'll see if 12 was the correct number. Another one. There's another one. One right there. One right here. And yeah, it looks like 12 was the correct amount. There we go. Ta-da! You guys just did a waving flag. Good job, guys. So again, here is it without the top portion right there. Here it is with it officially, and my phone kind of like went on. There you go. There's a flag actually on the phone. You guys want to take a look at the flag on the phone too. And with that said, I'm going to continue mine. So it looks a little better. I'll go like this. There we are. So if you don't finish, it's OK. Um, obviously, I didn't finish this one from the previous class. And I just thought it was a really cool lesson because sometimes people want to draw the flag in a very unique way. And now you guys know the numbers that you need. So this one, you need like five stripes below this one. And over here, you need 12 stripes. So that's good uh, knowledge to know. All right. We only have a couple more minutes left. Um, if you want to share something of art, either this project or another project, uh, just stay muted, though. Uh, just You can hold it up to the camera. That way, everyone can see. It could be a project from like any of the art videos. It could be this project. If you want to hold it to the camera right now, you can. And then we'll say goodbye in about a couple of seconds. If you want to have any artwork to show, you can. Let's hold it up to the screen, and then we'll all see it. All right. Oh, cool. Good job, guys. I see everyone holding something up. Good job. I see some uh, vehicles from the video. This is nice. This is, and I see some flags as well. All right. And there is my finished one right here. And here's another one. One I just did with you guys. Cool. All right. Good job, guys. I'm going to turn my camera around. You guys can see me. And that's going to do it for today. All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you later. See you guys later. Bye, Mr. Bye. Mill. Bye, Mr. Mill. See you later.